Hey y'all, happy Friday, happy preparation for your Sunday. Anyway, I hope you guys Fridays come along well. And um, hey, you know today's Friday, that challenging Friday for you guys and myself as well. And anyway, for this Friday, look, I want you guys to challenge yourself, right? And you know, just challenge yourself, you know, um, just basically asking yourself, what kind of power do you have? right or well, what kind of power do you hold to help somebody win or do you hold the power to help somebody win but you decide to not use the power because you ready to see that person fail mm. right so for this Friday I want you to challenge yourself I mean for anybody do you have the power to help anybody I mean it can be somebody as your job you know your your friend your your friend um kid or you know um a teacher or anybody, the homeless, you know, just anybody, you know. And um, do you have the power to help someone win, right? And if you have that power to help somebody win, are you holding that power when it's in the power of yourself to do it, right? So, yeah, I challenge all of us, right? You know, because if we help one person, you know, if each of us help one person, we got that power to help one person, we can all, remember, unify, right? We can all grow and build and conquer together. Because whatever power each one of us hold, and we use that power to help somebody else, if we got that power to help that particular person, then just imagine, we all grow together, right? Because again, as it's written, when I spoke on my little short today, you know, I read from Proverbs 3, verse 27 to 28, as it is written, withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when, it's, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. You see? So if you hold that power, then it's in your hand to do it. You're not supposed to withhold it from people, right? So if it's that person at your job, you know, you see them struggling, or, you know, you see that person, they, they excuse me, ability to get it done, you know, and you just sitting up here knowing you got the power, maybe you can offer that person a promotion, maybe you can help that person um, proceed somewhere, and you got the power to do it. But because you maybe envious of that perfect person, or you just wicked or just selfish, that you prefer to watch that person fail, or watch that person struggle, instead of reaching out and grabbing to that person, and telling that person to grab your hands so you can pull them up. You decide to be selfish, you know, and, and make you, um, to make yourself feel better, you know, you keep that person down so they can always look up to you. Instead of allowing that person to join you, you know, so y'all can work together and, and receive double the blessings to help double the people. You see? So if you got the power to do it, or if you got the power to help somebody win, don't wait to hold it. Especially if it's in your hand, because remember, everybody on this earth, we have different purposes, right? So, and believe you me, the, the highest gift or the highest thing to the body is charity, right? So, if you decide to go get that person to help a hand, reach down and pull that person up, you, you lend it to the, to the Father's people, so he's going to help you anyway. So, I challenge anybody who has that power within them, and they hold the net to release it. Because if not, you only stun yourself and your growth. Remember, because we all re we saw them, what goes around comes around. So whatever you put in this universe, you expect to return to you, right? So again, as it's written in Proverbs three, verse twenty-seven, twenty-eight, withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. So if you got the power, of my king or queen, to help somebody, then go help them. If if you can help somebody, you know, um, climbing it at their job, you know, so. They can win so they can help their family, you know, then do it. If you got the power to, you know, help somebody who they just seen that person fall and, you know, you got the power to help them just walk past, you don't do that because you got the power to help them when it's in your hand. You help that person pick them, pick them, help them, help them, help them stand back up. If you walk and you see somebody Ellie or somebody, you know, maybe if a sitting to the restaurant and you see them struggling, maybe carrying them, moving something, if you got the power to help them, then grab that food and take it to that table. Help them get situated, right? If you see somebody, you know, you see them all in distress, right? They just lost and everything, right? And you know you got the power because as it's also written, a person holds things deep within themselves. But great counsel will put it out. And you know you hold that counseling power. And you see your brother, your sister, and so much distress and comfort just out there in mind. Why just walk past them? Why not stop and use your power to show that person?
her some love and help them so they can want to do better, right? If you got the power to help somebody be beneficial, you know, to help somebody who is down, to bring them up, to help somebody be promoted, you know, to help somebody to feed them, you know, to help somebody with their mind, help somebody with their mental problems. If you got the power to help turn somebody's whole life around, a whole 360, because trust and believe me, you got the power. If you got the power to turn somebody's life around and help them do a whole 360, do it. Because if not, you only study your growth and your blessings. Remember, the highest ordained, the highest thing for the Father is charity. Remember, and we are here to glorify the Father, right? So if you got the power to help somebody glorify the Father, you know, remember, anything good can let out the Father anyway. You know, but even though, you know, he's just for the evil and good. But if your life is just going so righteous and you, you know, and it's, you know, uh, and you able to help people, uh, you know, your health is okay, and you, you know, you know, you don't feel, you can sleep at night, you don't got no cuts on your back, it's because you've been led by the Father. And that means you probably use your power well. Now, um, contrary to that, if you're not using your power well, and you're using your power to keep people down, then you don't be yourself going to be kept down, right? So if you have the power to help somebody, right, then do it, especially if it's within your hands to do it. Because... Even if you, you know, probably got money, whatever you got going on. Trust and believe, whatever you got is not all yours. You're supposed to want to help. You know, you're supposed to want to go volunteer that help, right? Because it's better to give than receive anyway. All right, you guys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your Friday, right? And like I said, happy Sabbath um, for you and your Sabbath. Uh, because remember, even man is the Lord of Sabbath, okay? And, and the reason why Sabbath going to really explain that because, yes, Remember, the world is given to the devil. And even though we're doing our sadness and everything, we have to be careful because, you know, the world is given to the devil. So, and, and so many words, our own sadness can also be brought from the devil because of the father and gave the world to the devil. However, he do have us separated, you know. Um, and I know when he do come back, everything will be restored as far as the sadness, Israel, Judah. So, that's why I say, you know... Um, even man, it's the Lord of Sabbath. Even even with doing John when, when the Messiah was walking um, through the woods with his um, disciples and everything, and the Pharisees and the scribes came and questioned him like on oh, Sabbath, what are you doing on Sabbath? Maybe feeding him or doing something? And, and the Messiah said, um, for uh, um, for the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. So it's your Sabbath, right? It's up to you to keep your Sabbath holy, right? Your Sabbath is within you. Your Sabbath is the highest ordinance, but it's to keep it holy and rest with the father and give and and make your desires obsolete okay so you guys may hear me now say instead of saying happy preparation for the sabbath i'm going to say happy preparation for your sabbath right because even um the even the son of man is lord of sabbath okay and even the son of man hold the power to help people okay all right you guys don't forget to like subscribe share and comment you guys have a wonderful friday bye now